Word of love. Grace and peace to you, my dear brothers and my dear sisters in the Lord. Today, I would like to share a reflection with you titled, Why Everyone Was Sleeping. And I am taking this reflection from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 13 from verse 24 to verse 30. The Parable of the Weeds Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. The owner's servants came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. The servants asked him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered, because while you are pulling the weeds, you may uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. For me, this is one of the uh, most thought-provoking parables of Jesus. One of the most powerful parables of Jesus is called the parable of the weeds. Or if you like, the parable of the good seed and, and the bad seed. And Jesus tells us that a man and his servants, they went out, they planted very good seed. And then while they were sleeping, the enemy came and sowed bad seed. The enemy sowed weeds among the wheat. And when the servants observed this, they came to tell the master, Master, did we not sow good seed? Where did the weeds come from? And the master told them, The enemy has done this. Now, when we look at this parable, there are so many dimensions, so many things we could learn from it. But one of the most practical lessons I personally uh, love to take from this parable is what the master told the servants. When they came, they said, let us just right now, let us go and uproot the weeds. We didn't plant weeds. We don't need the weeds. Let us go and uproot them. But they told them, wait. Don't rush to act. And I think that's a very powerful lesson for us on the wisdom in patience. The wisdom in patience. There's something in us, there's an inclination in us to want to be quick to respond, to want to be quick to act. But there's a great wisdom in just waiting. Uh, time gives clarity. Time gives us better understanding. And we're able to approach a situation in a better way with time. So maybe God is telling someone today, wait. Most times our regret comes from rushing to act without taking time for consideration and waiting perhaps for direction. So wait. Don't, don't be too quick to speak. Don't be too quick to respond. Don't be too quick to act. Wait. However, the message of today was the fact that why everyone was sleeping. One of the things that we could pick from this parable is understanding the agenda of the devil. John chapter 10 verse 10 tells us that the enemy has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So one of the plans of the devil is to destroy the good, to destroy what God is doing. One of the agenda of the devil is to plant weed bad seed among the good seed and he wants to do this in the church he wants to do this in, in the family he wants to do this in associations he wants to do this in relationships among people just to destroy the good that is happening there and that's why the devil goes about planting the seed of division disunity very common in, in the church disunity the seed of suspicion the seed of rivalry, of bitterness, of hatred, unhealthy competition, 
the seed of infidelity, quarrel, misunderstanding in homes, corruption in relationships, and so many seeds like that that are not of God. But the, the point is this, the enemy could not do this until he waited for them to be sleeping. And that is why the Lord is calling us today to be awake. Are you sleeping or are you awake? When we are sleeping, spiritually, we give the devil opportunity to do what he wants to do and to destroy the good among us. So my dear friends, the Lord is calling us today to be awake, to be vigilant, to pray at all times. And the word of God tells us in, in so many places the, the, the need to be awake. For instance, in the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 13, verse 11, the word of God says, It is time for us to wake from our sleep. Luke 21, verse 36, stay awake. And Revelation chapter 3, verse 2, the word of God says, wake up and strengthen what remains in you. We pray today through the power of the Holy Spirit that we may wake up, that we may stand against the devil, that we may be vigilant so that we do not give the devil opportunity to plant bad seed in our midst, to destroy the good that God is doing, to destroy what we cherish. We pray that the Spirit of God will teach us how to wake and resist the enemy. The Lord bless you and may his peace be upon you. Amen. Word of life, holy word.